actually 8.38 right now. Oh, did you get your bowl? Did you get your bowl? Go get it. I did go to Hotworks this morning. Um, I actually was not going to go this morning, but I got up at like five and I just was not tired anymore. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go to Hotworks, get a good workout in. I was gonna go to Hotworks after work today, but I was like, you know what? Might as well just go get it over with. And I actually feel so much better that I went this morning. I'm a little bit tired, but we did it. So really proud of myself. And I was actually not going to vlog today or this weekend. I got inspiration whenever I was cycling at Hotworks. And I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna pick up my camera and vlog today. I'm excited. So I have some fun things going on this weekend. Tonight, it is my brother-in-law's birthday dinner. He just turned 30 yesterday, I believe. So we have his birthday dinner tonight at Hibachi. I love Hibachi. One of my favorite places to go for food is Hibachi. So super excited about that tonight. And then tomorrow, it is my other friend's 30th birthday. And we're doing, it's called Pickle and Chicken or Chicken and Pickle. It is like a little pickleball court slash restaurant slash bar in the Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas area. So excited about that tomorrow. And then just gonna do a bunch of cleaning around here. Our apartment isn't that dirty, but I do need to do a lot of organizing. Is that funny? I need to do a lot of organization because this place, I just have been so unorganized lately. So I need to organize a bunch of stuff. So I'm gonna do that this weekend and then just edit and do more social media stuff than anything. Pretty chill weekend by that I would take you guys along. Oh my gosh, Buck, you're shedding so bad. Ugh. The only thing that sucks about having a golden is their hair. I swear, I mopped the floor yesterday and there's already so much hair everywhere, but I love him so much. Only dog I will ever have because I'm obsessed with them and obsessed with him. Okay, go get it. I'm actually about to go walk him because he hasn't been out at all since like 5 a.m. because he really had to go potty this morning. My husband took him out, didn't you? Um, so I'm about to go take him out. I do have a lot of work I need to do this morning. I didn't want to make this a chatty intro, but if you guys are new here, hello, my name is Selena, and honestly so happy that you guys clicked on my video. If you are new to my channel, definitely hit that subscribe button if you do like this kind of content, um, whether it's like work from home, day in my life, weekend vlogs, really just more lifestyle than anything. Definitely hit that subscribe button and join the little family that we have going on. I might get back to work, take him on a walk, and then probably catch up with you guys some point during the day. Not really sure when, but I'll talk to you guys later. I've 
chilling when and I follow the signs You're looking like a one way, gotta make the right choice Hope I make the right choice, hoping that you like boys like me I know you feeling me from across the room, I got a feeling you could be my muse Here's my little fit, I ended up putting pants on because it was so cold inside my apartment So took my shorts off, put my pants on but yeah, I have my little flower clip. I'm obsessed with this whole thing. I have, I think I have like a, this flower, same flower clip in like every color. But it's so cute and I just, it's so easy and I just love it. And this little shirt from Zara, it actually has pants that go with it, but honestly I cannot find them. Hopefully those come up because this is kind of expensive. But yeah, here's my work from home fit for today. Okay, so it is actually much later. I'm about to head out to my brother-in-law's birthday dinner. I didn't want to show my outfit. We're just going to do a little hibachi dinner. So I just put on some Nike Air Force Ones. These are actually for my friend's wedding that all the bridesmaids are wearing after the reception, but literally the only thing I have that looks good. So I put them on. And then just this little green top. I usually wear this to work, um, but you know, just wearing it tonight from Amazon. Jeans are Zara, and then my hair is up in a clip. Literally, what's new? I actually really wanted to curl my hair tonight. But I'm running so behind. It's already 6.06. I need to literally be in my car by 6.10 because it's like an hour away. It's at 7. So, yeah, it's pretty much it. Um, I do actually, I do actually really like how my makeup turned out. Um, I didn't actually did my makeup pretty quick. So, pretty much it. But let's go to dinner. Right, so Wait till they get theirs. They have theirs. I'm scared. <laughs> Saturday. So it is 10.02. I actually have my friend's 30th birthday. It's at, once again, I was trying to try to pronounce it yesterday. Chicken and pickle, pickin and pickle. Not chicken and pickle. What is it? Chicken and pickle, I think. Yeah, because of pickleball. Chicken and pickle. So we're going there. I have to actually be there at 11 and it's like 20 or 30 minutes away from our apartment and I need a shower and I haven't eaten any breakfast today. So it just made me some coffee though, which I wanted to tell you all about. So this coffee is amazing. One of my friends, I guess we're acquaintances. We know of each other. Her name is Madison. Um, we just grew up in the same area and we follow each other on all of our social media platforms, which is super fun. And she's been making this really, really good coffee. And I think that I honestly did it right. And if I didn't, I just, I guess, kind of made <laughs> what I like. Um, but I have been using the Malazio. It's on one of the Nespresso pods. I've been using that and then I... Just put that in a different cup just because I like mine eyes. Um, and I don't like it to go directly on the eyes because it melts really fast. So put that in a different cup. And then I just frothed up. It was one fourth cup of heavy whipping cream, one tablespoon of the French vanilla syrup. And then I did one tablespoon of milk. And then I added a little drizzle of caramel, froth that up, and the 
the frother that I have and then I put that on top of the coffee and then I just added a little bit of oat milk on top. Y'all, it is so freaking good. And the only sugar is, I believe, just from the caramel. And I didn't really put that much anyways. But it is really good and I highly recommend... I'll put the recipe below. Um, but I highly recommend making it. Apparently, it's like the, the dupe of the sweet cream Starbucks iced coffee. So, yeah, really good. But I am... Well, I wanted to keep cleaning. I think I might straight at the living room. It's a little bit of a mess, not too bad. And then I did actually clean up the kitchen before I made my coffee just because it was disgusting and I honestly just couldn't even it was just gross and I couldn't even handle looking at it anymore. So um once we get back from the pickleball I'm going to go to Hot Works workout. I actually did want to go this morning but I kind of just really wanted to sleep in. I got out of bed at like eight and I haven't gone out of bed at eight in a very long time. So it felt really good sleeping in um it's kind of giving my body honestly sleep because i feel like i never give my body enough sleep yeah i'm gonna go to hot works after we leave there and then really just come back home clean i do want to do some editing on youtube just do some some social media stuff and do need to do a lot of organizing i know i still have tomorrow but i really want tomorrow just to really be a focus on working out going to the grocery store going to church and then just doing editing so I'm really trying to stay on top of all of my editing and just get more videos out there because I really do love doing it. It's just really hard, has been hard for me to find time to do it. So I told myself this weekend I really want to devote a lot to my YouTube and all my social media content, just my YouTube and doing all of my editing. And I do want to update some of my um, like threads that I have like on my Amazon storefront and my YouTube thread. I think I might change that, like the little wallpaper that you guys see whenever you go to someone's YouTube account, it's like the really top, I think it's called a thread. I don't know, maybe I'm not saying it right. But I just wanna update some stuff, add some things to my store friend. Just do, just need to do a lot of updating, so. Hey guys, so it is much later now. It is actually 3.20 p.m. and I just got to Hot Works. Well, obviously I'm in my car, but I'm about to go inside. Um, I'm just gonna do a couple of cycling classes, probably for maybe 30 minutes, 35 minutes, max 40. Um, the girls' birthday, like pickleball event that we were at, actually gonna go do some day drinking at some different bars. So I think I'm going to meet the girls in a couple of hours. So I wanted to go ahead and get a workout in. And I did shower actually before I left, but obviously I'm going to have to shower again. But I did wash my hair, so I shouldn't take too long to get ready. I'm just going to curl my hair and then do some makeup and then go meet them wherever they're at. Obviously, I'm going to Uber. I'm not going to drive. Um, but yeah, it was really fun. Y'all, it was my first time ever playing pickleball. I actually really liked it, but I really only played like one game and I was so bad but I really liked it and I think if I actually keep doing it over and over that I would get a lot better so definitely enjoy it if you guys have thought about doing pickleball I know it's really popular right now but I highly recommend it was just so fun and it actually really does bring your heart rate up but I feel like it is a pretty good exercise so yeah that was a lot of fun and then I got to see her baby for the first time which was super exciting she is literally the cutest thing ever um yeah today's been a really good day so far i'm gonna go get my workout in real quick and then get ready and go out obviously i'm not gonna bring my camera tonight but i will just take some footage on my phone but yeah that's pretty much it i'm gonna go ahead and go to hotworks and get a workout in Hey guys, so I just finished my hot works class. Um, it is 4 p.m. right now. I really wasn't in there that long. Probably in there for, it says 31 minutes, but 
probably worked out for a good like maybe 28 to 27 minutes i did want to stay in there a little bit longer but my friend texted me that she's on her way to dallas and asked if i still wanted to hang out with her and all of her girlfriends so i need to go home hop in the shower and get ready real quick it usually takes me forever to get ready i'm not gonna lie um but I'm going to have to hurry up. I'm probably going to tell her I'll probably meet her by like 5.30. I'm going to be safe rather than, not really sorry, just because it's not like required to be anywhere anytime, but I just want to be rude. So I'm going to head home and then get ready and meet them out. I have no idea where we're going, but I'm sure it will be a fun little place to grab drinks and hang out with everyone. So yeah, I had a good workout. My stomach honestly hurts pretty bad right now, but I think it's because I tried chugging my pre-workout before my workout class and that was not a smart idea. I recommend not checking pre-workout because it's not even gonna make you feel good. Your stomach's just gonna hurt. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Go ahead and head home now and get ready for the day. This is a little fit that I'm going with. officially Sunday it is 8 58 right now and I'm actually about to head to the grocery store and get all of our groceries for the week um as you guys did see this morning I did take Buck out on a walk and then I made me some yogurt and ate that real quick so I was pretty hungry but I didn't really want to make like a full on meal for breakfast so <clears throat> yesterday was a lot of fun I know I showed you guys clips of us going out last night we weren't out late at all I think we were home by 8 30 once again, we got there at like six, I believe, just to a bar. And it's it's called Deep Elm is like the area where all the bars are here in Dallas. If you guys are from the area or if you've ever been here, um, it was okay. I'm just not really a big fan of Deep Elm anymore. At nighttime, it's just not that safe. So I personally don't like going, but it was good during the day. And it was fun seeing my friend and just celebrating her for her 30th birthday. But yeah, I have eaten so bad this weekend, y'all. Like for breakfast yesterday, I had hibachi, like my leftover hibachi. And then lunch, I had like chicken fingers and fries and just nibbled on a bunch of random stuff, had desserts. Last night, we had like Mexican at the, the bar that we went to. So, and then Friday night, I had hibachi. So this weekend, I just have not eaten good. I literally woke up in the middle of the night and my stomach felt like so hard and so bloated and I was not feeling well. So my body's telling me something that I need to stop eating like crap, which obviously I never really eat like crap. It's just this weekend we just had a bunch of stuff going on. So I'm excited to get back on track. I have all of our meals planned for this week, which I'm really doing more clean, healthy, healthier meals for this week for Kenny and I. So yeah, it's pretty much it. This is my fit for today. Um, just have these leggings from Amazon and my Noble tennis shoes and then this sweater from Zara that I'm obsessed with. Um, it definitely is oversized for sure, but I like the oversized look and it's very, very comfy and just, I don't know, it makes me feel super cozy. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Obviously, I will take you guys along with me today. I'm not sure how much I'm going to be talking to the camera, but just going to take take you through my Sunday and then I am actually getting dinner with some friends tonight, but I am not going to eat dinner there. I'm just going to go and hang out. Just because one, I don't want to spend money, and two, I am going to make dinner for Kenny and I tonight. So I might just get like an appetizer or something small. I think we're going to like a sushi type restaurant. So super excited about that. That is at five. So after the grocery store, I'm going to come back and finish cleaning. I did actually deep clean the kitchen yesterday, but it's kind of a mess again, I'm not going to lie. 
So I'm just gonna straighten up in there, clean the living room. I'm gonna sweep, or not really sweep, I'm gonna vacuum the floors. And then I'm gonna swiffer them and then I'm gonna do laundry. And then upstairs is really where we need a lot of work. So I'm gonna do the whole bathroom, clean the whole bathroom and then clean our bedroom. So hopefully I get all that done by two. That is my goal. Max three, I don't even know if I would, honestly. So I wanna go to Hotworks after I'm done cleaning. And I would do that before, but I kind of realized that once I'm done with hot works, I'm just so exhausted because it is so hot and like my body's just so tired. I have no energy to want to do anything else. So I just sit on my phone all day and I don't get any cleaning done and it stresses me out going into the new work week. So I'm going to try to go to hot works after I'm done cleaning. And that's why I want to be done around two, go to hot works, come back, shower, and then head to dinner. I'm not going to get ready. Like I'm not even going to wear any makeup and just going to dress pretty comfy slash casual. So it's pretty much how our Sunday is going to go. I'm going to go to the store now and catch up with you guys later. like lemon salmon meal for dinner one of these nights and then some stew meat which i got that to make some like beef tips with veggies and rice got some yogurt i love the chobani the zero sugar and then the oikos the so you guys see me eating this in my videos but it's the banana cream the flavor it's so good and i like to mix it with peanut butter powder and um some granola so really good there just got some broccoli for a meal some potatoes or like the mini yellow potatoes this granola is my favorite. It's the kind cinnamon oat granola. I love that stuff. And then I did get some Fiesta blend. Reduced fat cheese. I got this, um, it's this natural orange marmalade. I think I'm saying that right. Marmalade. I was trying to find the sugar-free one because I'm making this like healthier orange chicken, but I couldn't find any at Walmart. So I just ended up getting this one. And then I also got some red wine vinegar for one of, for one of my meals that I'm making. Some bananas, which is just a staple in our house for protein smoothies, protein shakes, and then just normal smoothies. Got some heavy whipping cream for a meal, and then I've also been loving putting this in my coffee as well. The staple in our house is turkey meat, just because my husband likes to eat it plain with crackers or even with like sandwiches. Some spinach for my smoothies, pretzel crisp. So I have some garlic hummus that I got from Trader Joe's, but I completely forgot it. Forgot to get pretzels, so I got some pretzel crisps. I love, this Kodiak Cakes is my absolute favorite. I love the blueberry flavor. Um, really great staple for breakfast. Then some Ritz. I haven't had Ritz in so long, but honestly, it just looks so good, so I grabbed it. And then I've got this um, premium romaine salad. I'm actually gonna eat this with the orange chicken and rice, and then have like a ginger dressing that you usually get at like an Asian restaurant. Milk, which is once again a staple, especially eggs. All of our vegetables and avocados, lemons, fruits, all of that. Then I did get some raspberries and strawberries, which is once again a staple in our apartment. But here's my Walmart grocery haul, and then I'll show you what I got from Whole Foods. I got this brada with black truffles. Y'all, this is so good. I'm actually about to make this with avocado toast. Put this on top, it is freaking amazing. Like, I honestly cannot stress it enough. Y'all should definitely check it out, and I'll show you how I make it as well. I got basil for a meal, as well as broccolini. I got that for another meal as well, a kale for a meal. And I did get me some poppy drinks. I've been obsessed with these, these like pre, um, these prebiotic little soda drinks. They're super good. And I believe they're actually pretty good for you as well. So I got three of those. I actually have one in the fridge already, but I wanted to get some more. And I also got this carrot ginger dressing. I got this for the salad that I told you guys about that I'm going to make with the, um, the orange chicken and rice. So I thought this would be really good. 
Italian chicken sausage to make with this kale Italian chicken sausage soup that I'm gonna make this week. So yeah, this is my Whole Foods grocery haul. organize the fridge off camera because it was disgusting so I finally cleaned everything I took everything out cleaned it and then put it all away so this makes me feel so much better it's like a therapy whenever it's cluttered in here I honestly hate even trying to grab food because it, it's so gross so yeah organize this makes me a lot happier okay so I'm going to show y'all how I make my avocado toast pretty easy and it's super good so I mashed up an avocado and I added salt pepper garlic powder crushed red pepper and then some lime in here i'm just going to put it on top of my toast and i just did a i got a fresh sourdough bowl i think i'm saying that right from whole foods it was a, a full one and then i just cut it up in bigger slices they can cut it up for you but i actually like the thicker pieces and i don't think they can cut them thicker maybe they can but i've actually never asked so um but yeah so that's what i used and then it's gonna obviously run my avocado over the bread or my avocado spread. I make this, once again, this black truffle burrata and put it on top of the toast. So the burrata is the cheese and there's like a truffle thing inside of it. And honestly, I'm just gonna take my hands and just spread it over. And it is a little bit liquidy, but you can honestly try to not get so much liquid. I just honestly, I just put it on top. That's actually a lot. I usually don't, I'm gonna actually take some off. Um, do some on the other one. Top it off, I will put some cilantro on top of it. Just tear it and put it on top. I like a lot of cilantro, but if you don't really like that much or if you don't like it at all, you obviously don't have to add it, but I'm obsessed with cilantro, so I definitely load this bad boy up. I'm also gonna add a side of raspberries just because I want some fruit with my breakfast or brunch, honestly, it's like 11, so. Here is the finished product. My toast, which is y'all, this is so good. I highly recommend if you guys like burrata, truffle, cilantro, lime, and avocado toast, definitely try that. Then I just added some raspberries just for some fruit, but I'm gonna go ahead and eat this and then honestly get to cleaning. Sunday. I'll see y'all in the next vlog. Bye guys.